Hey guys, Christopher Odd here. Feels like we're getting close to the end of Remember Me. Let's take a little walk down memory lane here. No pun intended. I had a weird theory that potentially... Hurry up, Jax. Probably stupid. Cup doesn't like it when we hang around down here. Edge could be Jax, I wonder. Whoa. It's obviously this childhood memory that I, you know, cherish. Played the central role in all of these different sequences that we've had. Jax, don't leave me alone. And she is essentially following Jax around. a very happy little girl. Jax was truly your only friend. There you are. You weren't answering me. I hadn't relived your memories for a long time. I almost forgot how much they hurt. How's that? Relived? So much pain, sister. And for such a long time, so empty, so true. Edge, you're starting to scare me. Keep going, little sister. H3O must disappear. Well, actually, my Jax thought may, may be more valid than I thought. <laughs> I hear a Scaramec. That's enough. Now give me your hand. We're going to be late. Here I am. Back to where it all started. Yes. It's here that you gave birth to me. Don't you find the expression a little abusive, brother? <laughs> it's just a question of perspective. When did you figure it out? Just now. Edge is H3O. Oh. It hit me. It's obvious. I really want to die. I didn't lie to you. Who are you? Really? I am Edge. I am a spontaneous entity born from the putrid pits where everyone flushed their most horrible and painful memories. I am H3O. My first memories are the tears of a girl. I am the child of Memrise and its worst enemy. I am the father of the Leapers and their grim Reaper. I am your friend. You must kill me. And if I don't want to? There is no choice, sister. I will force you to confront me, and if you do not win, I will destroy you. I'm afraid. As am I. I did make reference to the fact that he may be some type of AI uh, way earlier on, but... I wasn't really thinking about that at this point. Hello, sister. 
time to break your father's favorite toy. Edge! Edge, I don't want to fight you. I am h 3 o Edge was just a part of me. An agent. Created, partitioned, and sent on its way to find you and bring you here. <laughs> but you, you are an heiress. Sworn to bring an end to the ravages of Sensen. I am H3O. I am Sensen. I am the Leapers. Kill us. Okay, then. How the hell am I even going to get started? Destroy this black memory cube. I do not want to remember anymore. Well, I'm not sure how, but we're gonna figure this out. This cube, some of the darkest memories I've had to bear. Destroy it. I can't hit it, so I'm gonna have to use some type of, uh, one of these things. Let's try this. Destroy this black memory cube. I do not want to remember anymore. I'll try a logic bomb on it when I, this cube, when I can. Some of the darkest memories I had to bear. Destroy it. I'll have to try it on something that gets close to it. Destroy this black memory cube. I do not want to remember anymore. No, that's not working either. And I can't target it. But now we've got more of these guys. Can you imagine the moment I became self-aware and understood what I was? Let's try Fury. Oh, there we go. My Fury works. A new life born from humanity's horsemen. Let's try to get that cooldown all the way off, then, and use that again. I am adrift in a flood, in a day with memory out sewage. Let's go again. Screw these guys, let's just go right for the box. Weak point spam. Okay, stage one. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's gonna take the cube for me, even better. Exceeded my scenario predictions. So much going on here. I have to control those things to shoot those cubes. Server 
I'm not sure if it's worth just shooting a lot of the mini gunshots at it or doing a giant burst like that. Oh, shit. Doesn't appear to make a huge difference. Whoa! H3O. Oh, shit. Oh, look, it's the recreating the car crash. Crazy. Now what? Okay, so I have to DOS these things and then Fury on this one. So I'm gonna need both the cooldowns. It's kind of cool, it's like a mini puzzle in a sense. Created in a spark by the yeah, innocent I mistake heal up of here. a naughty little girl. Isn't that ironic? Uh, I don't like that. Come on. Come on, cooldowns. Let's go. Guilt. The desperate need to change the world. All waiting to hatch from the barbed egg of a Shit. Almost. Alright. Heals again. Your mother rebuilt her soul without ever forgetting a single second of that moment. Shit. What I should be doing... Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna change this a little bit here. Uh, what I should do is maybe make this one... Do I have enough to do just heals here? No, I don't. I'll try to use some longer ones so I can get a whole bunch of stuff going. But you, you made her believe that the accident was all her fault. All right, here we go. Man, it's insane. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Okay, I need to clear a path.
Put an end to this, Millen. Fury lover. Take his memory. here to finish it. The pain is dissolving. And I go with it. In a few seconds, my memories will be returned to the people. Adieu, Nilan. Remember you soon. A friend once said, the memory of a single man is a fortress, more complex than the vastest of cities. But we invented a key to the fortress. There are no secrets anymore. My friend's name was Edge. Born from the sense and abuses, he was the first to understand that we were all floating adrift. Edge died to remind us that some intimate doors are not supposed to be opened, and that suffering, like painful memories, is just part of life. My name is Nilin Cartier-Wells. I am a memory hunter. I can know everything about you, and I can make you believe whatever I want. This is my gift my legacy. For the first time in my life, I remember exactly who I am. Outside my fortress, I now have a family to go back to, and a world to confront. A damaged world. A world to heal. This is what my friend taught me before he disappeared. I'll never forget him. That's a really good last line. Oh. Well, that is the end of Remember Me. I have, I have a lot of interesting thoughts about this game. Uh, first of all, from a gameplay perspective, contrary to all of the reviews out there, I actually really enjoyed the combat. It didn't get old, it didn't get boring. Like, I feel like I got an opportunity to kind of master it and get good at it, and uh, with the with the customization allowed for the longer combos versus the shorter combos and how you're going to link them together, I actually really thought it was. I had a, a super time. Some of the puzzles were really fun. I particularly enjoyed Captain Trace's puzzles, um, where he used kind of the secret codes and things like that. That was really enjoyable. The remix sequences were great. Uh, I did think that. Regarding the remix sequences, I thought they picked a good balance between not having too many and having just enough to keep you wanting more of them. I think if you would have had them like all the time, it would get kind of repetitive. Uh, the one critique I would have about the remix sequences, though, is that it felt more like I was just experimenting, like trial and error, instead of actually figure like instead of figuring out logically. 
you have to go through and you have to kind of trigger everything to figure out what the effect is going to be and then by that time you probably have the right combination so it's uh it's interesting they're really a cool idea i just uh and i enjoyed them don't get me wrong but i think they could have improved on those for a first game from this don't nod developer uh or first triple a game i'm not sure if they have any other smaller games available but i'm super impressed and i can't wait to see uh, what this studio does in the future. I'm really, really stoked to see what they do because essentially what they did was they took uh, all these uh, different games and kind of combined them together. You know, you've got like the Deus Ex feel from all the futuristic stuff. You have the combos from uh, Batman. You've got like the moving things around from Dead Space. And then that last boss fight kind of reminded me of uh, God of War in a sense where you're like running onto the guy and he's this huge kind of opposing entity I've never played uh, Shadows of the Colossus but uh, I have the impression that that is kind of what you would be doing in Shadows of the Colossus maybe not maybe you climb more and you actually climb the guy more and fight on him I'm not sure but I just kind of got these different vibes from different games uh, regarding it a lot of people criticize this game about not being like open world enough I have no problem with that like as an example uh, I'm playing uh, the Witcher right now and although that's not technically like this huge open world game like a Skyrim or what have you um, it's really easy to get distracted from your main focus whereas in this you're you're not you're on rails in a sense that you can't really explore the city that you're in and your surroundings but uh, you're always focused on your one main goal and you're just going to achieve that and I actually from a story perspective uh, I actually really enjoy that it's a lot easier to follow and it was entertaining throughout like I kept coming back to this game excited to play it that's that's the biggest thing is I didn't I didn't feel like it was a chore to play this game and I really between between sessions I was really thinking about it I was like okay these like if you could take somebody's memories what kind of impact would that have and it had me thinking and that's what's really cool about this game I think that being said there are some downsides and uh, what we'll do is I think this would be an interesting game to have a let's discuss video on and if you guys don't know what that is uh, I started a series with um, a Deus Ex Human Revolution where I did a, a whole separate video talking about my thoughts on Deus Ex. And then for Bioshock Infinite, I included you guys. We had a Google Hangout and uh, we had uh, probably over the course of a couple hours, we had about 20, 30 different people in there uh, discussing their thoughts on Bioshock Infinite. And that was amazing. So I think this would open up a lot of potential um, a lot of potential good discussion points regarding the use of memories and storing them and using them and extracting them. I would be really interested to see what you guys have to say about that. So I'll probably do a let's discuss with you guys regarding it. And uh, last but not least, I just want to say thank you guys for all of the support. Um, I really, I really appreciate when you guys um, watch the videos, obviously, and all the feedback that you guys give and. It's not just like, oh yeah, you know, Chris, you're great and that kind of stuff, but it's the it's the feedback on the actual story and your thoughts on it. That's the stuff that like I really, really appreciate um, because I'm able to surround myself with really good um, viewers and really good community members, I would say, that help to bring the story into kind of like another level. You know, it's not just a video game at that point. It's like a community playing uh, together, which is really cool. I, I dig that so much. Anyways, uh, once again, guys, thank you very much. I'm going to let this roll out to the end. If there is anything that happens at the end, I will phase back in and let you see that. If not, though, uh, I'll see you guys in the next series. And I just want to say 